Good evening, everybody. So we are halfway through the work week. Well, a little bit more than halfway, three fifths of the way. So that's better than half. And it has been a long week already. I don't know if you guys have had a rough week, but it's kind of been a tough one. So hopefully the last two days will be smooth sailing and we'll be able to end the week out on a good note and have fun this weekend. So we're gonna do earrings tonight. We've been doing the colored earrings. Um, we did those last Wednesday night. So tonight we're gonna do the metals. We're gonna do the black metal, silver, gold, brass, and copper, as well as the rose gold. Those are in with the gold. So we're gonna look at those earrings because we all love earrings. Even when we don't wear necklaces or other things, we tend to wear earrings. And we usually have several pairs for the same necklace or outfit. So you can't have too many earrings. So we'll take a look at those and play some survey games and have fun. Hi, Becky. Becky is over on Instagram and so is Kim. Hello, Kim. Hi, mom. All right. Yay. Everybody's here. Gang's all here. All right. First pair tonight are the ones that I have on. I have another pair of these. This is called Pyramid Sheen. It's a triangular piece at the top set with black rhinestones. And then the flat silver chain at the bottom creates a little fringe. I love these because they're not too long. A lot of our fringy ones are long. These are not. So this is the length. You can see they don't hang down too far. I have one more pair of those. Pyramid Sheen in black is number one tonight. I almost couldn't remember the, num the name and I was gonna have to ask you, mom. And then I remembered at the last minute what it was. Yeah, I like them because they, they really are pretty. And those the flat chain at the bottom is so shiny. So I like shiny. I was probably a crow in a past life, you know, whatever. All right, these are called, hi Violet, thank you for sharing. These are called Higher Love in silver. Hi Megan. So these are three hearts. They're suspended on the cord type or snake chain from the fish hook back. These are a little bit longer, but they're very slender profile. So like this, I have three pairs of these. So higher love in silver is number two. Yeah, of course I've got hearts, I've got lots of hearts. I got all good stuff, you know. Next up, one pair of these, because these were an exclusive. These are called Metro Safari. This is in the black metal. This is kind of a hammered black metal that's fanning out like kind of like a feather on the bottom. They remind me of a peacock feather. And then they have a black post up here. This is the length and the size. Let you see where that comes down to. There we go. So just one pair of these. Metro Safari in black is number three. So what's everybody been up to this week? I had a rough beginning of the week, so hopefully you guys had a better one. Hi, Aunt Dora. Good to see you. So I'm hoping everybody had a better week than I did. I told you the computers were down on Friday when I went into work. Well, I went in today and the software was still down. The actual computer was up, but the software still was not working correctly. So I got to fix that today. It's finals now. Oh, Kim's doing her finals. Violet's cleaning and organizing her bedroom. I've got another one for you when you're done, Violet. Mom says she's not been doing a lot. I have not been doing a lot either, but it's been very stressful. All right. These are called highly flammable. These are in that shiny copper. So little twirls of shiny copper set with white rhinestones. Let me put my hand behind it so I can get closer. 
These are really, really pretty earrings. It is hard to show just how pretty they are. I have two pairs of these. This is the length and the size. So two pairs of highly flammable in copper. They're number four. They look great with some of the chokers that we have, the shiny copper chokers that had the little rhinestones on them. Really pretty with those. Yeah, you can stay here, Violet. It's not very warm right now, though. It rained today, yeah, and it was, it, was warm, it was kind of warm, but I don't know. It got chilly fast. These I forgot to show you on last week's show. So these had come in, and somehow I'd missed two pairs of earrings that had come in. So this is prismatically panoramic. These are in pink. These are ear crawlers. So, of course, this is upside down. They would really go like that. Just like that. They do have the little round piece that hooks around your ear. So let's see if I can do this right. I always go the wrong way. So this is about the size right here. So I have three pairs of these. Prismatically panoramic. And those are in pink. They're a combination of light pink and white rhinestones. And they're going to be number five. 41 is a heat wave. Okay. I hope you don't freeze to death up there. <laughs> I'm too old for that. Yeah. I would freeze into like a solid block at that point. I've been away from the North for way too long to play that game. Hi, Jane. Good to see you. Now, Jane's probably got some great weather out there. It was rainy and a little bit cool here today, Jane. It's a little bit cool tonight. So hopefully you're having some sunny California weather. All right. These I also only have one pair of. These are called Dallas debutante in gold. So again, the snake or cord type chain coming off the bottom in gold, a little loop at the top that's studded with white rhinestones. This is a post earring and our post is right at the top there. So this is the length and the size. Oh, it's in the fifties. Yuck. Even California is freezing. <laughs> that means it's really cold everywhere else. So these are Dallas debutante in gold, we just have one pair of these. They are number six. I'm gonna go to 10 before we start the survey questions today, just to give everybody a chance to come in because I know it's been kind of slow with everybody coming in. So let's give them a chance to get here. Otherwise you have to figure out all the answers by yourself, so. All right, just one pair of these as well. These are called, can I get a hoop hoop? And they are in the black metal. So these are just a plain polished black metal. Hi, Terry. Hoop, they're very narrow. They are a little larger. Not our biggest ones by far. A little bit larger, so they hang down about to here. So just one pair of these. Can I get a hoop hoop in black? And they are number seven. Everybody's got to have a good pair of black hoops, right? Oh, mom says it was 72 in Arizona. Maybe you need to go visit her, Jane. You go steal over to Arizona for a few minutes. Maybe you'll thaw out. All right, let's see. Now I need some silver. Let's see what we got here. I have got everything. That's the problem. Trying to see something we haven't seen recently. All right, here we go. It's rainy and 60. That's about what it was today. Terry, Becky's over on um, Instagram. I don't know why she's hiding from you. I don't know if you did something to her. 
but um, she's over on Instagram. <laughs> I'm not getting in the middle of that one. All right, lost a cat here somewhere. These are fiercely famous in silver. So these are the mirrored type hematite. So you see how they have kind of a mirrored finish on them. They're not the transparent ones. I don't know, Terry. You should be asking yourself. I don't know what you did. <laughs> or maybe ask Becky. So very pretty hematite rhinestones. Starting narrow at the top, getting wider down here at the bottom. Hi, Helen. They're on a fish hook back. This is the length and size. Oh, that means she's not mad at you, Becky. Fiercely famous in silver. Just one pair of these. Number eight. You want those, Becky? All right. Those are yours. Number eight to Becky. Those are pretty, aren't they? See, if you stay over here, then Terry can't bother you. Did you get rained out tonight, Helen? All right, these are Symphony Sparkle in silver. Let me get closer up. So these are silver pearly beads alternating with sets of two white rhinestones in a round shape, you know, kind of like a wreath shape. This is the length and size of these. I just have one pair of these. They are Symphony Sparkle in silver, and they're number nine. Don't worry, I'm not trying to rush you. Did we, did we lose them? All right, next up, Antique Copper. So these are classic keepsake in copper. So you can see we have the darker copper with a little bit of hammering. That's what those blackish spots are. And then they have some tone-on-tone -tone rhinestones. So they're basically copper-colored rhinestones. I would never do that, Terry. <laughs> they're, they're oval with oval cutouts. This is the length and size. I have two pairs of these. Classic keepsake in copper. And they are number 10. So now we have enough people that you might be able to guess the, the answers to the survey questions. Sometimes these are hard. All right, this first one has five answers on it. Five answers, and we are going to go with, let's do number four. Name something a rock musician might do during a concert that would look funny for a classical musician to do. Something a rock musician might do during a concert that would look funny for a classical musician. I thought you might have, Helen. Yeah, it's been rainy here all day. Break his guitar. That was number two. Jump. That was number three. Jumping around. Dancing was number five. You guys are good at this. I think you've been to rock concerts before. Lay on the ground and play guitar. That one was actually not on there, but that's interesting. Headbang. Headbang was also not on there. Wear funny clothes. Well, they do do that. Throw the drumsticks. Play guitar on the knees. These are great answers. They didn't think of any of these. Scream was number one. So Violet got Scream. We still haven't got the winning answer. It does have something to do with clothes, but it's not funny clothes. Jumping in the audience. No, nope, not jumping in the audience. Change clothes. Oh, you're getting closer. Getting closer. Take your shirt off. Yes, Violet. That was number four. Oh, Shelly said leather clothes. Wow. <laughs> no leather clothes. It's too hot for that. Address the audience. Hello, Cincinnati. <laughs> 
ripping clothes, taking off the clothes. So everybody finally got the right idea. There we go. So taking off their t-shirt. Sometimes they throw it in the audience. Sometimes it's just on the stage, you know, not that I would know because I've actually never been to a rock concert, but I've seen enough of them on TV. So that's all I need to know for the rest of my life. City contour. These were very popular hoops because they're a smaller hoop. They're actually like three hoops overlapping, intertwined. So these are the ones in silver. This is my last pair. This is the length and size. So you can see they are a smaller hoop. I did have a mean mom. How did you know? City contour in silver is number 11. Yeah, she was the meanest. Mm -hmm. Just terrible. Yeah, they came in, I think they came in black, gold, and silver, Terry. And I had all of them. But I'm getting down to the last pairs now. These are called Totally Tranquil. So these are a white stone at the top. They do have little crackle in them. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that because it just kind of looks white on the screen. But white crackle stone up at the top. And then we have a pretty copper feather at the bottom. Hi, Daisy. Good to see you. So these are a post earring and our post is up here. So this is going to be the length and size. Just one pair of these. Totally tranquil in copper is number 12. So we're doing all the earrings. You came on the right night, Daisy. All the earrings. All right. These are also hematite. Smile for the camera in silver. So these are the transparent type hematite. You can see that you can see down into these stones. They're transparent, not like the other ones that are mirrored. And then we have a white rhinestone solitaire up above that. That round cut. They're hanging from a fish hook back. I have two of these. This is the length and size, and they make a really nice upgrade if you need a pair of hematite earrings to go with your necklaces. A lot of them have the teardrop shape in them, so these are pretty great for that. Smile for the camera in silver is number 13. We have two of those. You're 65 and you've never been to a rock concert either. <laughs> What a shame. See, you should have taken me to a concert, and then we both have would have gone. I just don't know. All right. Also, one pair of these. These are more of a vintage paparazzi. These are called Soul Searching. S-O-L. So the sunshine. You can see the sunshine pattern in that second crescent. It's also kind of in that first one, but we have the little triangular cutouts. This has black beads in it. And then we have teardrop shaped black beads coming off the bottom. So nice Southwestern ish style. This is the length and the size. So one pair of these soul searching in black is number 14. All right, let's see what else we've got in gold. Gold, gold, gold. Should we take a spin? I love these spinny earring things because I can just spin them. Hi, Ruth. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. My last pair of these. This is Paradise Found in gold. So these are based in gold. We have the butterfly at the top, the ring at the bottom. They are both encrusted with the white rhinestones. So you can see they fill in that butterfly and then they're all around the circle too. This is the length and size. I have these two and I like them. They're butterflies. So paradise found in gold. It does kind of number 15. You know what? I found that a lot of butterflies and moths look pretty similar. You'd be surprised what pretty moths there are. All 
All right, let's find the next question. This one has six answers. Let's take number five. Name something associated with ET. Something associated with ET. Let's see who watched the movie. Actually, half of these you could probably get without watching it. The finger. Oh, that one actually wasn't on there. The flying bike. That was number five. So Daisy got that one. Phone home. That was number four. Cookies. They didn't have cookies on there. Spaceship wasn't on there. Let's see. The closet. The decade. Hi, Ashley. Flying bike. The government. Yeah, I thought this was going to be easier. Drew Barrymore was number six. So we got phone home, flying bike, and Drew Barrymore. That was actually the three last ones. So what are the first three? What else is associated with E.T.? Reese's Pieces. That was number two, Becky. Reese's Pieces is number two. Extraterrestrial. Well, they said alien, but same thing. That's number three. And number one, who directed it? Whose movie was it? Max, quit giving the answers over there. I know you're just happy you know the answers, but be quiet. <laughs> Frogs in jars at school. Oh, no. Yuck. Those were gross the first time. Come on, ladies. Spielberg, yes. Spielberg it is. All right. Max was getting worried. You should see him sweating over here. He thought you weren't going to get it. He has no faith. Yep, Steven Spielberg. You're 73 and never went to a concert. Well, see, we're still doing good then. We've got time, Mom. These are Water Lily Love. These are antique silver. These are our little water lilies. Our post is right up above that center. So they're going to hang down just a little bit like this. So I have two pairs of these. Water Lily Love in silver. And they are 16. No, I can't stand being in that big crowd. That's why you said that, because you know that I would never do that. Because there's too many people there. I don't like people. People have germs. Did you know that? All right. My last pair of these. These are gorgeously grounding in gold. So we have a gold hoop. And we have little blue and white pebbles hanging off the bottom. So the turquoise color and then some white mixed right in the center there. This, yeah, ew, people. This is the length and size. So gorgeously grounding in gold. And these are going to be number 17. Just one pair left. So if you have the gold and turquoise, they're, they're good for that. All right, next up, another gold pair. We're going to show gold ones because Violet won't want them then. It'll keep her from buying anything. Let's see if I can turn these around the right way. Enhanced elegance in gold. So we have the pear-shaped crystal type bead up at the top. It's in that gold color. And then we have hammered gold teardrops at the bottom. They're on a gold fish hook back. This is the length and size. Yeah, we're helping you. Enhanced elegance in gold. And they are number 18. Well, we went to Kenny G. Max and I went to Kenny G. We actually weren't too far from the stage. It wasn't too bad because it was a smaller venue. So 
could only be so far away from the stage before you were, you know, sitting out in the parking lot. But it was pretty good. I don't know. My daughter would kill me for saying this, but I don't see what the hype is. I could go the rest of my life and not go to a concert and I'd be okay. But All right. These are Playfully Prairie in black. So we have the little flowery top. And then we have kind of, again, a wreath setting or a circle setting with the black stone beads all around it. These are a post earring and our post is about in the middle of these. This is the length and size. So playfully prairie in black, we have three of. This is number 19. And I mean, Kenny G, it was okay, but it was nothing special. You know what I mean? Although he did show how long that he could blow into his saxophone without taking a breath. And let me tell you, by the time he was done, it was just annoying because it was so long. So he's got great breath control, but um, I didn't need to hear it. Used to go a lot, but they got too expensive. Yeah, I think Caitlin's, the last one, cost like $265 per ticket. That's too much. <laughs> All right, these are stone sculptures in black. So we have a black stone with white marbling or marking in a silver concert. Not see silver frame. <laughs> you made me see silver concert. You just got Taylor Swift. They just did too. They're going to Atlanta again to see Taylor Swift this time. This is the length and size. We do just have one of these. So the black with the white spotting and the silver frame. I think I can say that this time. Number 20. Well, just shake it off. Just shake it off? Yeah. All right. Because <laughs> haters are going to hate. Oh, see, here's a good one. Four answers. Let's go with number four. 19 for Daisy. Four answers, and we'll go with number four. Name an instrument that can sound whiny. <laughs> Jane said Sade was her first and Alicia Keys was her last. Sade, she likes jazz too, huh? Mm. That looks kind of jazz. Yeah, no, kind of. Flute was number two. Sax was number three. Oboe was not on there. Guitar also wasn't on there. Clarinet was number one. One more. Violin. Violin was it. Mom got that just before Becky. She just barely beat you to it, Becky. So violin was number four. See, now we know all the whiny instruments, so I can avoid those. Uh, you've been to a concert with a violin, those guys. Yeah, those we went, I guess that kind of... We watched Black Violin. Has anybody gone to that? A black violin concert. They're two black guys who play violin, but they play like modern music. They don't play necessarily classical music. Um, we didn't actually go to a concert. It was more like they put it on for the kids through the school. So basically you got to see them perform a little bit, but that one was good. Now I would pay money to see them. They really put on a good show. All right, one pair of these. These are also in black. So this is the black metal, the little rings, textured rings. And then we have white rhinestones hanging in them. So let me get them a little closer. So just one pair of these left. This is the length and size. They're going to be number 21. What are you doing over there? No, I was wondering which you told me Esley Watts, which one to Esley Watts? No, Daisy. Daisy. 19. 19, okay. You saw Dave Cause at a jazz festival, okay. 
Yeah. Max has some of his CDs, I think, or yep. some of his music downloaded at least. I have the CDs too. I thought you did. All right, butterfly frills in copper. These are the shiny copper. So you put these on either side of your face. <laughs> yeah, she says, Max, don't be putting stuff in her basket. She does that all by herself. The post is up here. So this is going to be backwards on me, but normally they would go toward your face. This is the length and size. Daisy Ashley same, you know. Yeah, she's probably going to steal them anyway. <laughs> I have two of these butterfly frills in copper. And it's number 22. Speaking of things in your pouch, Ashley, that reminded me, um, fashion fixes are going to be in tomorrow. Um, hi, Carol. So everybody that ordered something from the Fashion Fix, whether it's pieces or the whole whole set, they will be in tomorrow, which means they're going to go on this invoice and you'll get those at the beginning of the week next week. So they are on their way. And let me tell you, those bow earrings, they sold out fast. But I got them. All right, this is wrapped in wealth in gold. Also only have one pair of these. These are two ovals in gold. So our middle one is polished gold. The one on the outside is studded with the white rhinestones. They're on a gold fish hook back. This is the length and size. So just one pair of those wrapped in wealth gold. It's number 23. They were adorable. They were really cute. And they're so different from anything we've had before. I think that's what got everybody interested in them. All right, last pair of these as well. Climate change. Yeah, some consultants didn't. I did. Climate change. So this looks like a silver chain. It's shaped into a hoop. This is the length and size. So climate change. And silver, they are number 24. Lots of people didn't get to order them either. Lots. Did I get any extras of which one, Violet? This is floating gardens in copper. So we have the shiny copper wire on a fish hook back. And then we have pearly beads and crystal type beads that make up these flowers on the bottom. Let me see if I can turn this one around. Yep, the other one. They always want to go the wrong way. There we go. So we've got the little white flowers on the bottom. So this is the length and size. I have these two. Because they're so cute. Floating gardens in copper. They are number 25. All right. Let's find another question. Okay, let's try this one. Four answers. Let's go with number two. A condition that might cause you to have wacky hair. A weather condition that might cause you to have wacky hair. But clumsy hair? No, not clumsy hair. I have that all the time. <laughs> so you have to grease the right palms to get those bow earrings. Yes, wind. Wind was right, Daisy. That was number two. Humidity was number three. Lightning was number four. I didn't think anybody would get that one. And rain was number one. Rain had 66 out of 100. So I guess that's what kills most of our hair, right? I think the humidity should have been right behind rain, though, because we have more of that than we have wind. Depends on where you live. Yeah, here, 
the wind is not as much of a challenge, but yeah, that rain and humidity will kill us. All right, let's do some in brass because I haven't done any in brass. These are called Where's the Fire? Oh, which fashion fix were you talking about, Violet? Where's the fire? So these are supposed to look like flames. I think they look more like seashells. They have a little dot motif on them and they're swirls in brass, the antiqued brass. This is the length and the size. So we have Where's the Fire? in brass and they are number 26. Just one pair of those. 110 degrees will flatten it with oil. Yeah. Tate says Bride of Franklinstein. Okay, the pearl one I may have extras of. I'm not sure yet. The heart necklace and bracelet I did not get extras of. I believe they are still available. 26 to Terry. All right. I have some good brass ones. So I don't sell them that often. These are called Heads Quill Roll. These are in brass and it has that patina. So the greenish blue patina on it. Very pretty feathers. They've got a lot of ridge detail for feathers. They're on the antique brass fish hook back. This is the length and size. So heads quill roll in brass. These are number 27. Just one pair left of those. But most of my brass ones are down to one and done. Because people do want them. 27 to Terry. Do you need some more brass, Terry? I've, I have more. We have Plains Pathfinder in brass. These are triple hammered teardrops inside of each other. I like how they look when they move. That's why I'm doing that. <laughs> brass fish hook back. This is the length and size. So I have two of these. Plains Pathfinder is number 28. Yeah, they were nice. I have some really nice ones. Because again, I don't sell them that often. But I try to keep some here because somebody always needs them. All right, I also have two of these in brass. These are a more basic pair. So these are just the antique brass thick teardrops with a teardrop shape cut out in the middle. It's on that brass fish hook back. This is the length and size. Some people like these because they're a little bit smaller because I think I have these in black too. All allure all the time in brass is number 29. Then we have drop dead dainty in black. So we have an upside down teardrop in black rhinestone and little strands of white rhinestones dripping down. They would have been perfect for today when it was dripping rain. They're on a silver fish hook back. This is the length and size. Aren't they fancy? I like them. Drop Dead Dainty in black. This is my last pair of those. And they are number 30. There you go. I'm still missing 35, so I guess I can only go to 34. <laughs> I said 36. Oh, am I missing 36? Yes. Yeah, Is that what I'm missing? Uh, okay, then we can go to 35. We'll be okay. You can go ahead and do the drawing after this one, though. Um, let's see. Let's try this one. I mean, I feel like the answers are all over the place, but we're familiar with all these products. So six answers available. 
Let's go with number three, because I think somebody will get that one. Name a type of makeup that most women don't wear on a regular basis. A type of makeup that most women don't wear on a regular basis. Eyeshadow was number four. Eyeliner was number six. Foundation it is, Terry. Foundation. You got it. Lip liner was not on there, but lip color was. Lipstick was number one. So out of all the things, I guess most of us don't wear lipstick on a regular basis. Let's see. Brow liner. That one wasn't on there. Um... Trying to look false lashes, highlighter. I think highlighter definitely should have been on there, right? A shadow, brow liner. Let's see. See if anybody else got these other ones. Now I have a hard time that one seeing that one of these is not worn. Blush was number two. I get that. But this one I don't really understand because I feel like almost every woman wears this on a regular basis. I know I have to. I guess my daughter kind of gets away with it, but mascara, yeah. I feel like most people wear that. That was number five. There was 11 out of 100 that guessed mascara. Maybe 11 women don't need it. Or they ask their husbands. All right, these are called Vineyard Romance. These are in rose gold. I'm try to get it up there because there's little hearts in that filigree. I know they're kind of hard to see. And then we have the circular cutout up at the top. This is the length and size. Yeah, maybe those people are the ones that never wear makeup. That could be true. Vineyard Romance in rose gold. One of these, number 31. I feel like I kind of left out the rose gold one, so do a few of those. This one I have two of. Hand it oval in rose gold. And I have no idea why they called it that because these are teardrops. They're not ovals. But they have that textured finish that kind of looks like glitter. So we have the teardrops with the teardrop shaped cutout in the center. They're on the fish hook back. This is the length and size. So upgrades for your rose gold. Two of these available. Hand it oval. Yeah, back to stupid names. 32, which would be fine if they'd even make sense, but that one doesn't even make sense. All right, one of these, Mojave Mesquite in copper. So this is the antiqued copper. This is a little smaller pair of earrings. I'm trying to get it so it's on both screens. There we go. So we have the teardrop shape up in the top and we have the round shape at the bottom. We have the dot motif around that cutout. This is the length and size. So if you're not a fan of big earrings, but you need some antique copper, these are a good choice. Mojave Mesquite in copper and they are number 33. Yeah, we don't always want big earrings, right? Sometimes you just don't feel like it, or it doesn't go with whatever you have on. Hi, Allison. Good to see you. We have done lots of earrings. We're on pair number 34. So you might want to go back and catch that, the beginning of it. These are called Dramatically Deco and Gold. So we have a square. Dramatically or dramatic? dramatically so square with rhinestones on the top and then this flat chain tassel this is the length and the size he's cool yeah terry says she bought all the good ones i only have one pair of these dramatically deco in gold is number 34 
She's just trying to fake you out, Allison. It's fine. And let's go out with a bang. So our last ones are going to be Crown Heiress in silver. So we have the mirrored hematite again. So the dark, like charcoal colored stones with a mirrored finish. These are on a silver fish hook back. I do have two pairs of these. This is the length and size. So we have Crown Heiress in silver. Two pairs. Number 35. There we go. Yeah, those are some earrings. Let's see who won. Terry, you won. You are going to get a free piece this week. Look, you just paid for some of your earrings. <laughs> 34 and 35. See, I knew you'd want those. So I think we're going to start just doing this on Wednesday because everybody likes earrings. And it's a really easy thing for me to do when I'm home from work after kind of a long day. So we'll just continue to do earrings on Wednesdays. So know that Wednesday is earring day. If you want earrings, come on Wednesday. Um, by Friday, we have a new order coming in. I don't think we've got a lot in it because I did order the fashion fixes, um, but we'll have a few things. So we'll have a few new things on Friday, plus the fashion fixes that you pre-ordered will be ready for you. You can call Allison the closer. <laughs> He says, we're going to call you the closer, Allison, because you bought the last two. All right. So we'll be back seven o'clock on Friday with those things and have a good rest of the week. Hopefully it'll go well and be safe. And we'll see you later.